Welcome to the Peanut Gallery's first ever vlog. Uh, the Boston Red Sox last night evened up the World Series two games to two against the St. Louis Cardinals after they threw out pinch runner Wong as he was leading off from first base. He was pinch running for Alan, for the injured Alan Craig who had just managed to get on base. Uh, rather odd ending considering the fact that no postseason game ever at all in the history of Major League Baseball has ended with an attempted pickoff. So it was rather unique, considering that the previous night's game ended with an obstruction call against third baseman Wilt Middlebrooks when he tripped the injured Alan Craig as he was rounding third on an, on an errant throw by Boston Red Sox catcher Jared Sotolamakia. So this has been a rather interesting World Series. A lot of things have happened. So the question is, what's going, is what's going to happen from here on out now? So, one of the first things we're going to realize is that there will be a game six, and they will be playing in Boston at least one more time. With the game, with the series tied at 2-2 and ending in such a majorly momentum, uh, momentum associated way, you'd have to guess that the Red Sox are probably going to win tonight, or tomorrow, yeah, tonight, which is Monday night, in St. Louis, and then they'll have to have a break and play. Wednesday night, which will be back in Boston. And if they have a 3-2 to two game lead at that point, it's pretty much going to be the Red Sox game, you'd have to feel. Granted, the St. Louis Cardinals did have one of the best runners in scoring position average this year in terms of hitting when runners are on second or third. So it doesn't mean the Red Sox or the Cardinals are out of it at all. I mean, the game, the series is 2-2, and the Cardinals arguably have some of the best young pitching in the game. Tonight we're going to see Adam Wainwright versus John Lester, which is a rematch of Game 1, which ended 8-1 to in favor of the Red Sox. If that's the way this game turns out again, it's hard to believe that the Cardinals will be able to rebound back. But if you remember in 2011, that's exactly what they had to do. Down three games to two against the Texas Rangers, they ended up winning Game 6 off of clutch hitting from David Freeze, who hit a game tie and triple in the bottom of the ninth, and then in the bottom of the 11th hit a solo home run, or hit a home run, to win the game for St. Louis. That doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to happen again, but that is something to keep in the back of your minds, especially that Mike Napoli was also on that team of the Texas Rangers then when they lost to the Cardinals, and so now he's on the Red Sox, so he's got a lot to play for. Just make sure you look out, watch the games. Here at the Peanut Gallery, we're going to say Red Sox take game five and six. Boston Red Sox should be the next World Series champions. See you all later.